Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to save any web page on the internet to your Google Drive in the form of Google Docs. And that's what we are going to see in this video. And before that, I will show you a demo on how it's going to work. Then we will start writing the script. So this is a uh, Google Sheet and in the column A, I have given list of web page that I want to save in the form of Google Doc. And when I run the script, I can able to see the drive URL as well as and this drive URL uh, going to store the content from uh, each and every uh, link which I have given in the column A. So let me show you how it's going to work. Uh, select the function, uh, take backup. And once I execute the function, uh, it start scrapping the web pages from uh, the given link and start saving it on your Google Drive. So uh, if you see here, uh, it almost scrapped uh, the uh, content from the given URL. And if you want to have a look at that, you can just click on the link and it will take you uh, to the Google Docs. And if you scroll down, you can able to see all the content as well as uh, images uh, on the content. Also, uh, if you go to uploaded files, you can see all those files here because I have uh, written a logic to save the files in the uploaded file section. Okay, let's see how to write a script to do the same. Uh, first, let me delete this one. Let me close everything and uh, uh, go to my drive and click on new and open a Google Sheet. So name this sheet as backup of a website. And I'm going to uh, copy and let's move on uh, to the scripting part. So uh, I have a column A which contain a web page and I have deleted the drive URL because I'm going to write a script to scrap the content inside this web page. So go to tools and script editor. And let's create a function called uh, save as doc. And in this function, I'm going to pass the URL of uh, each and every row uh, in the column A. Uh, just for testing purpose, uh, we can hard code the URL uh, right now. I'm going to uh, take the first one. And so now we have created the URL. And if we want to get the content inside uh, this website or this URL, we have to use a class URL fetch app. So let me create a um, variable called uh, folder ID before that because um, I want uh, uh, all these web pages to store it in a specific folder and that is upload file. And you can see the ID here. The, this is the ID for the folder upload files. So I'm going to store it in the form of a text. Then uh, just to uh, differentiate uh, the doc, uh, I'm going to add the timestamp uh, to each doc. So let me create one more variable called formatted date and I'm going to use a class utilities and you can use a method format date and here you can uh, specify uh, the arguments as new date and time zone as um, GMT and you can specify in what format uh, the it should generate uh, the date. I'm going with the normal mm uh, dd and yy format space hours minutes and seconds. So that's it. And it's going to return the timestamp uh, with along with the month, date and year. Uh, and I'm going to append this uh, date along with uh, the document name so that uh, you can find which was scrapped earlier and which was scrapped uh, recently just to differentiate uh, between the docs. And I'm going to create another variable called doc ID. And 
in the doc id i'm going to actually insert uh, i'm going to scrap the content from a web page and going to insert that content in the drive files okay so before uh, creating a doc id let me do a scrap so to scrap as i said we have to create a class so uh, for scrapping, we need to use a um, class name called URL fetch app and go to fetch and pass the URL. And we already have the variable URL and it will take uh, that variable here. So now it's time to create a Google Docs and save the file on Google Drive. So I'm going to create a variable called doc ID uh, because I'm going to get the document ID in this variable. So I'm going to use Drive API for that. So you need to enable the drive API under the uh, resource section. So if you go over here, there is a drive API. You need to turn it on. Otherwise, you cannot use the drive API. So once you turn it on and if you place the dot, you can see the list of uh, methods. And I'm going to use a method files and I'm going to use a method insert. And this insert method accept uh, multiple argument and if you want to explore the insert method there is an api reference document uh, in the google you can go and check that out as i said it's going to accept a, a, a different argument uh, here i'm going to specify my file name and uh, on which folder it it should save and uh, in what format uh, it's going to save and what is the content of the Google Doc. Uh, that's what I'm going to specify here. So you should uh, put up in the form of a, a dictionary format. So let's uh, specify the title and my title is going to start with a doc followed by I'm going to append uh, the format date. That's it. Now I need to specify uh, the folder where it's going to save the Google Doc. So there is a parameter called parents and it's accept a list and inside the list you can specify uh, the folder ID and we already have the folder ID so I'm going to pass that here and the next thing is we have to specify uh, the document type on how you are going to store the document on your Google Drive. So to specify that there is a key called MIME type. And here you can specify the MIME type. I'm going to store it in the form of a Google Docs. And so I have selected the Google Docs. The next thing is we have to specify the content that we are going to store in the Google Doc. That's HTML because we already fetch the HTML and I can use a method called get blob So which return the blob for the given URL So once everything is done, I want to get the ID so I can Use a method ID here and So this is going to return the document ID for my Google Doc so now uh, let me create a variable called a file and uh, I can get uh, an access so that I can get an access to the uh, Google Doc that I have created recently. So drive app dot get file by ID and we already have the ID here. Let me pass that ID and using this uh, file I can get the URL of uh, the Google Docs so that I can uh, Populate the URL on column B for each web page. So get URL uh, is a variable where I'm going to uh, return the URL. So you can use a method get URL. So it is uh, showing an unexpected uh, token. It's showing the line 10. Okay, so this HTML dot get blob should come outside the dictionary. So, so I need to take out uh, this curly braces and it should close it here. So now let's add a logger statement and let's print the URL. So let's execute uh, the script and see whether it's scrapping uh, the content from the given URL or not. So this is executed successfully. So if you see here, it's created a, 
uh, Google Doc and if you scroll over here it contain all the content including images hyperlinks and everything uh, in the Google Doc so that's it now this method is working fine now uh, we can use this method to get the content of all the given URL so it's very simple uh, we have to create uh, another method called uh, let's say it has take backup so in this method I'm going to uh, loop through each and every row and I'm going to pass the URL as an argument to this function so first uh, let's create a global variable called sheet1 to get access of this sheet1 so get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name pass the sheet1 name here and I want to iterate through each and every row so I need to find the last row to find the last row I can use a method get last row so now I can go ahead and use the for loop for loop which should starts from second because if you see here the first row is a header and I lesser than or equal to L row and I plus plus that's it and here I'm going to so here I'm going to create a variable URL uh, to fetch uh, uh, the URL from each row you can use the sh1.getRange method and the row should be i and the column is 1 dot get value so during each iteration it's going to fetch the URL in each and every row once we get the URL uh, then uh, we can call uh, this method by passing the URL and instead of calling uh, this method directly uh, I'm, I want to populate the uh, URL of the Google Doc on column B so we can combine and write it in a single line so it should be I and I want to populate the URL on the column 2 you can use a method set value and inside the set value you can call the save as doc here and you can also pass the URL here okay so we have set the save as doc and before running the script we need to remove the hot coded URL here otherwise uh, even if we pass the URL it's going to uh, take the URL once it enter inside the function so I need to completely get rid of the URL so let's see uh, whether it is uh, scrapping the web page or not so let's execute the take backup and see uh, how it works so uh, if you see the google sheet it start uh, creating a google doc and uh, it start populating the uh, drive url here if you go to this drive url you can see the content so it scrapped everything and let's go ahead and check the second one so it's scrapped that as well and let's check the third one which is uh, from a different website yeah so everything seems to be working fine and it's completely scrapped all the given URL let's go to the uploaded files and see so if you see that it created uh, five Google Docs for each web page that we have given in the column A so that's it uh, you can use this to scrap the web page or if you want to take a backup of your own blog or your own content on the uh, internet you can use the, this script so that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye